two galaxies on a collision course, this mesmerizing detail of the collision captured by the Hubble telescope. Around 100 million light years away, two galaxies are giving astronomers a sneak preview of the fate of our Milky Way, which is going to collide oh, millions of years from now, so close that they're categorized under a single name, ARP91. The spiral galaxies NGC 5953 and NGC 5954 are in the process now of merging with material from the latter extending towards uh, in and into the former. Okay, 100 million light years away. Details of the merger are visible in the new image from Hubble Space Telescope. And gradually the two galaxies will join together becoming one big elliptical galaxy according to the models of these colossal cosmic events and their interactions and that's how we expect the Milky Way to end up too when it eventually merges with our own closest galactic neighbor the spiral galaxy of Andromeda. Galactic mergers are not uncommon in the universe. Space is huge and you might think that things don't bump into each other Things terribly often do, and galaxies are not adrift in the sea of nothing. They're often connected by vast filaments of intergalactic gas, which can act as matter, of, uh, matter highways along which galaxies are drawn together across the void of the universe. They spotted many such galactic collisions, but they take place on a time scale of around a billion years, so any one collision in isolation will not reveal the entirety of the process. But each one is a snapshot shot of one. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. And this is another simulation from NASA showing the uh, interaction of the collision of two galaxies. And then the other one, the next image from NASA, again, showing the simulation of the two galaxies becoming one. So, their interaction triggered bursts of star formation in both galaxies, as inflowing gas generates shocks in clouds of molecular star-forming gas, pushing it into denser clumps that collapse under their own mass to form baby stars. Now, ARP-91 is a stage where the two galaxies have not yet been significantly disrupted and their spiral structures are still largely intact. So also, the both galaxies have active galactic nuclei. That means that the supermassive black holes at their centers are actively devouring material as well. This process generates powerful black hole winds that push out into the surrounding gas, which as you can guess, generate shocks that trigger star formation. So the two galaxies are very busy places indeed right now. Eventually these two will merge, their spiral structure is dissolving into a bright, nearly featureless type of galaxy called an elliptical galaxy. But uh, that is at least a few hundred million light years away. Whether humanity will be around to see it is an open question. Now, the mergers between Milky Way and Andromeda is even further away. Scientists predict that it will start taking place about four and a half billion years from now. And that's, that's just about the time when our star goes extinct, from what astronomers believe. Now, we have very little to worry about, though. By that time, humanity will almost certainly be gone or unrecognizable. But it is nice to know that what will happen to the place after we're gone? What's going to happen to us? So, we can uh, download Hubble's images of ARP91 full resolution from ESA Hubble website. And this is on Science Alert by Michael Starr. And this video by NASA and James Webb Telescope will explain what colliding galaxies and, of course, our Milky Way galaxy and the Andromeda galaxy will look like in about four and a half billion years. <laughs> Galaxies are the building blocks of the universe. 
The giant galaxies we see today, even in our own, were built up from many smaller galaxies. But construction isn't done yet. It continues even today. Full-grown galaxies approach and interact with each other. They may collide and eventually merge. As the galaxies approach, the tug of gravity creates tides that distort their shapes. Stars and gas stream into new orbits. Sometimes they're completely ejected, trailing into the depths of intergalactic space. Gas clouds compressed into chaos light up with intense rounds of star formation. Because stars create most of the chemical elements, such episodes have a profound effect on a galaxy's chemical makeup. This infrared image of the entire sky shows half a billion stars. Most are in our galaxy. Some are not. These are companion galaxies that orbit our Milky Way and some are in between. In 1994, astronomers discovered that some of these stars actually belong to a different galaxy. It's called the Sagittarius Dwarf Elliptical, and the Milky Way is tearing it apart. As the dwarf galaxy passes through the Milky Way's disk, Gravitational ties stretch the dwarf stars into long streams that wrap around the galaxy's orbit. For the dwarf, it's a fatal attraction. For the Milky Way, it's but one of many similar events that shaped our own galaxy. But there's something much bigger headed our way. M31, the Andromeda Galaxy. This is no dwarf. It's the Milky Way's biggest neighbor of roughly the same size, mass, and type. Astronomers say the crash will begin about 2 billion years from now. This supercomputer simulation shows how the event may unfold over billions of years. The first pass distorts to two great spirals. Stars are tossed into the intergalactic night like sparks thrown from a campfire. Our sun, complete with planets in tow, could be similarly ejected. Each pass blurs the identities of each galaxy. Eventually, Andromeda and Milky Way will merge into a single entity some astronomers call Milkomeda. How did the shape, structure, and chemical content of galaxies change over the sweep of cosmic history. Deep surveys by the James Webb Space Telescope will capture the full panorama. From the early dwarfs that formed to the familiar galaxies we see around us today. Galaxies are the building blocks of the universe. The giant galaxies we see today, even in our own, were built up from many smaller galaxies. But construction isn't done yet. It continues even today. Full-grown galaxies approach and interact with each other. They may collide and eventually merge. As the galaxies approach, the tug of gravity creates tides that distort their shapes. Stars and gas stream into new orbits. Sometimes they're completely ejected, trailing into the depths of intergalactic space. Gas clouds compressed into chaos light up with intense rounds of star formation. Because stars create most of the chemical elements, such episodes have a profound effect on a galaxy's chemical makeup. This infrared image of the entire sky shows half a billion stars. Most are in our galaxy. Some are not. These are companion galaxies that orbit our Milky Way. And some are in between. In 1994, astronomers discovered that some of these stars actually belong to a different galaxy. It's called the Sagittarius Dwarf Elliptical. 
and the Milky Way is staring it apart. As the dwarf galaxy passes through the Milky Way's disk, gravitational tides stretch the dwarf stars into long streams that wrap around the galaxy's orbit. For the dwarf, it's a fatal attraction. For the Milky Way, it's but one of many similar events that shaped our own galaxy. But there's something much bigger headed our way. M31, the Andromeda Galaxy. This is no dwarf. It's the Milky Way's biggest neighbor, of roughly the same size, mass, and type. Astronomers say the crash will begin about 2 billion years from now. This supercomputer simulation shows how the event may unfold over billions of years. The first pass distorts its two great spirals. Stars are tossed into the intergalactic night like sparks thrown from a campfire. Our sun, complete with planets in tow, could be similarly ejected. Each pass blurs the identities of each galaxy. Eventually, Andromeda and Milky Way will merge into a single entity some astronomers call Milkomeda. How do the shape, structure, and chemical content of galaxies change over the sweep of cosmic history? Deep surveys by the James Webb Space Telescope will capture the full panorama. From the early stars that formed to the familiar galaxies we see around us today.